Hey guys, it's Taylor. So today, um, it is freezing at my house, so I am just wearing a hoodie. Just take a moment to like really appreciate this because the polar vortex is over and it is 29 degrees at my house and we still have snow on the ground. What is this? And I'm sitting on a pillow right now. <gasps> it's bugging me. Okay, so basically it's February and what are we gonna do but a January favorites video because it's the end of January. Am I the only one who feels like that like went by way too fast? Like I am like not at all ready for February. I don't know. I feel like I shouldn't be doing this video right now. I don't know, guys. It's just not my day, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, these are basically the projects that I use religiously and basically use pretty much every single day because you need makeup every day just to live life. That's how I function. This is the stuff I wear the most. I'm going to start off with hair products because I have way less of those, so... So the first one is, um, 75... What? So the first thing I've been using is, um, Goody Outchel's Hair Ties, and it was like a small pack of rubber bands. So basically they're just plastic hair ties, like this big. You can't even see that, probably. It's like my eye. Like, literally the size of my pupil. But... Basically, I wear my hair in side braids, like, religiously. That's, like, my one and only hairstyle. So, um, I just pop one of these suckers on the end instead of wearing a really thick hair tie because, let's be honest, that bugs me so much. So, I just pop one of these suckers on the end and I'm good to go. So, I basically just showed you the package for no reason because there's nothing in it, but it just looked like this. <laughs> so, you have five little plastic clear hair ties. Can we just talk about this? The girl is wearing a side braid, like... What up now? The next product is the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product, and I wear this, and or not wear, I put it in my hair every single night after I take a shower, and it's supposed to do 10 things, and that's why it's called It's a 10. Repair, dry, damaged hair, add shine, detangle, controls frizz, seals and protects hair color, which I don't really need because I'm not dying my hair yet. I want to get honey highlights. Comment down below if I should. Um, prevent split ends, stop hair breakage, create silkiness, enhances natural body, and flat iron spray and thermal protection. So I pretty much use this every night after I get out of the shower and just helps my hair be more wavy because my hair is naturally wavy but it just like makes it so it's not I guess as crazy and it's more presentable to people if I don't feel like straightening my hair that day. And also it just makes it really soft and ready to go for when I brush it. That was in the wrong order. It detangles well so when I brush it that's good. But then also during the day it's really soft, so this is like my go-to thing. I love it. It's like a mini conditioner in a bottle. So next, I actually wore nail polish this month. It's a miracle because I never wear nail polish, so I wore the Hallie, Hallie Sanson. I wore the Sally Hansen Insta Dry Fast Dry Nail Color in number... 170 Espresso. It just looks like this and it's literally like the color. Like that's one thing I like about Sally Hansen. It dries fast. It leaves a shining coat. And then it also pretty much is the color you could get out of the bottle. It's like pretty much the same thing. So yep, this is what it looks like. And I also put the Sally Hansen Hard Nails Hard as Wraps Acrylic Gel in Nylon. And I just put this over this. But yeah, that is basically it. Um for my nails. And next, before we get into like makeup, I guess, I wanted to say this book, Allegiant, I just got it like at the beginning of January and I've been meaning to read it because, I mean, I really do like the series and I read, <laughs> I read both the books last year, like the first and second of the trilogy and I really liked it and I completely forgot what it was about. So when I opened the first, third book, I was kind of like, should I reread them or shouldn't I? And I was like, nah, they're going to be too hard to get now, so I might as well just read it because I have pretty good comprehension when it comes to books, so I just started reading it and then I was like, it all came back to me. And so I'm currently about probably one third of the way through and it is really good and I really like it. Um, it's a little easier than like my reading ability, so it gets boring at parts because I'm like, I wish this was more detailed, I wish this had more... Um, 
I wish the characters had deeper feelings than they are presented with, but I think overall it's a really good book and I really do enjoy sci-fi books, so I would definitely recommend this to anyone who has read the two books, two first books of the trilogy, or just hasn't read Divergent, period. The movie's coming out soon, better go check it out, but I'm... Um, Honestly, I think that if you want to, you should read the Divergent series because I think that it's a very easy reading level. It's very easy to interpret, and it's overall just a good series. And I personally liked it better than Hungry. And shh, don't say anything. Um, don't argue with me down in the comments, please, because I like it better. Now on to makeup. First of all, I'll start off with my face products. So the first product I like is the L'Oreal True Match, um, and it's just a concealer, and I'm wearing it right now. And this is what I have used for probably about two years now. Yeah, about that. I really like this, and it matches my skin tone really well, and it just, like, kind of matches and blends to your skin tone immediately once you put it on. It's kind of one of those things, even though it doesn't claim to do that. I think it does because my friend has really fair skin, and she can wear this exact color. She sometimes borrows mine. I know that's not good to do, but she does. And um, we both can wear it, so I have fairly darker skin than... I guess the average Caucasian so um, she has lighter skin like more fair skin and I don't so I thought that you know it blends well and I really like that about it so props to L'Oreal so the next product is the primer I use every single morning it's the professional pro balm to minimize and um, a, why am I reading this part well what it's supposed to do is minimize the appearance of pores and I have really big pores that are like damaged from my acne where approximately two to three pores would be like I have a huge gash so they're really noticeable and so I have like an area right here and and between my um, eyebrows um, where I have that really badly it's like in little chunks um, so I use this every morning to hide that and it actually does a really good job so I definitely would recommend this product to anyone and the thing I like about this it's almost like, like the magic nude liquid um, foundation because once it's like on my face and rubbed in it like pretty much feels like a powder to me that just might be me and I also really like the bare minerals matte foundation and it's just literally like a loose powder and I do like this it is unlocked Parker The next product I want to share is the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, and I use this right before I put on my Naked 2 palette, and oh my goodness, this helps my um, eyeshadow last all day. I can wear this for like 8 to 10 hours, no not 8, like 6 to 8 hours probably, and my eyeshadow will stay on if I use it. The next thing, since I already talked about it, is the Naked 2 palette by Urban Decay, and literally my life is in this. Like, oh, I literally could, oh, if I never had to use another palette again, I wouldn't care, because literally the colors in this, and I actually do use the brush if you're wondering. I know a lot of people don't, but I, oh, but I actually do like the brush. I really like all the colors, and I use every single one of the colors except for Blackout, so that is pretty much... It, I have used the whole every single color in this packet palette not packet except for blackout because I don't do smoky eyes it's not my thing but otherwise oh my goodness this palette is amazing the next thing I like is the Maybelline line stiletto and this is just a really really thin felt tip I just I like it and it's a very pigmented black so that always helps too next I'm just gonna show you guys some of the songs I've been obsessing with because I am obsessed with songs like that's like my one, number one thing I love doing listening to music so let's just just watch me sing because I want to okay project X though just kidding have you seen it DJ Snake though, like Seriously though, like 1D 
I praise you for when D Day when you did this. <laughs> Oh, and the Janathians. Like something's about to happen, but I don't know what. If that means what I think it means. <coughs> I can't even whistle that long. How?